Hi, um, welcome back. After explaining to you about the um, selection statements briefly, and right uh, right now I'm going to use the um, NetBeans or uh, to to um, uh, demonstrate to you about the um, how to code uh, about selection statements in, in, inside Java. And um, I'm going to create a new project. Click on this one to create a new project. This is uh, choose the Java application, and this one I'm gonna. Um, Name it session number, um, session number um, two. This one is about um, selections or, or um, if else demo. Okay, finish if else demo. And then inside this if else demo, I'm going to test a, a simple um, if else thing. So we're going to um, declare two variables int x equal to seven and int y equal to um, 3 like we have over 10 and 3 like we have over here uh, then uh, first thing is we're going to uh, test the if so this one going to write out test the if okay display on the screen that we're going to test the if so if um, x greater than y it's going to um, it's going to uh, run this statement let me just do the strange thing which is if x smaller than y, we're going to display uh, x is smaller than y, uh, and you'll see uh, in this case, it's in this case, it's going to check this condition. If x smaller than y is, is using um, comparison operators, okay, is using comparison um, operators, and and um, how to say uh, this x ten smaller than y is 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 um, is um, going to uh, evaluate to be evaluated as phones values so this one is not true if it's not true this line will not be executed okay it will not be executed so if you run this one you'll see uh, you see that's if here that's that's if here but this line is not executed but if you change it into if x greater than x greater than y okay and execute it it will be uh, that's if is this one and then it will display uh, x is smaller than y so this one is for uh, selection statement so it will uh, run or will not run this statement depending on the condition here in several cases you can um, also um, test the like if then else okay then you can check if x smaller than y okay then you're going to um, display that x is smaller than y um, else okay else is going to display x is greater than uh, greater than or equal to y um, in this case uh, if this one is to be evaluated evaluated as true and it's gonna execute this but if this one is um, evaluated as false it's gonna execute this and in this case um, 10 is smaller than 3 is to be evaluated as false so it's not gonna execute this one but it's gonna execute this one okay so um, uh, it will be displayed as x is greater than or equal to y if you execute this one you see that's if else so this one x is greater than or equal to y this is the result of our um, if else statements over here uh, after we uh, write out that's if else after we write out that's if else um, uh, x is greater than y but still uh, in several more cases you can uh, also write um, we're going to test if then else if then else again or you can just continue to have the else if else if else if okay several times okay else in this case we're going to check if x smaller than y we're going to write out we're going to write that x is smaller than y um, else else we're going to check another condition again if x is equal to y then we're going to write out x is equal to y then else again else again means if if this one is sure it's going to execute this one if it's not sure if this one not sure it's going to check another condition first to see if this condition is true if it's true it's gonna execute this one but if this one is also not sure it's gonna execute the else here and this one you inside x is smaller than y in this case uh, 10 is smaller than 3 is false so it's gonna execute this one then it's gonna check if 10 is equal to 3 or not it's not equal of course then it's not gonna execute this but but it's going to execute the x is smaller than y that one is true what we are 
really expecting. Okay? So if you execute this one, you'll see that's, uh, that's if else if you'll see x is smaller than y, the reason is already there. Because this one is not true, so it's not going to execute this one. This one is not true either, so it's not going to execute this one. So finally, there is only one else left, so it's going to execute this one. Okay, that's why you'll see that x is smaller than y, and this one is true. Okay, that one is um, almost it. You can have nested if else, you know, if inside that if as well. Uh, you can do something like if um, uh, uh, um, uh, x uh, smaller than uh, 11, you're going to uh, display here x is smaller than 11, okay, x is smaller than 11, and inside this case, x is 10, okay, and um, x is 10, and also it's smaller than 11, is, 11 is true, so this one will be executed. You can do other if, else, if, else inside here, okay. So if execute, you'll see another one here is x is smaller than 11, okay, mm. and you'll see that you have indentation of the code, okay, indentation of the code, but it, it is an indentation of the output anyway. It is the indentation of the code for you to um, uh, for um, a better legibility of your code here. Okay. Now I'm going to um, demonstrate also about the um, switch case like um, um, we uh, explained before. So we're going to switch on server of the uh, on one of the values, which is the values over here. We're going to switch on a variable x. Okay. So I'm going to create another. Project Java application next. I'm going to name this one is session number uh, to uh, switch. Okay, switch case. Let me just this. This let me just make switch case. Okay, in order to demonstrate how to use switch and case, what is switch and case? I will explain in previous session in theoretical part. Uh, in order to demonstrate how to use switch case, I'm going to declare variable x equal to uh, zero, and then we're going to switch or or check on this x values and in case it is in case this x is equal to one we're going to do something then break okay similarly i'm going to uh, select this and move down k1 k2 k3 okay and then default okay. yeah make another one then okay yeah the first one is let's say if user input zero uh, you're going to do something. Okay, if you input zero, you're going to do something. Um, let's say you're going to display that um, yeah, the fan is off. Okay, so you, you, because if they put, uh, we are doing the simulation for uh, the fan here. Okay, fan switch over here. So if user input zero, we're going to turn off the the the, the fan, and if user input one, you're going to display that uh, the fan is running um, at speed one. Okay, and um, if the case is, uh, then you break mean finish. If you forget the break, you're going to continue to execute on the other things here. Then the case, if you input 2, you're going to put here running at speed 2. Okay, and then the case is 3. You're going to tell that uh, the fan is running at speed 3 here. Um, that means it's, let us just make it up until 3 is enough. And uh, the last case, if user input something else it's not zero one two or three it's gonna be default and after it's default you should break this one as well and for default case we're going to just simply display invalid input okay so we don't test this one let's say if x is zero it's going to for sure check the value of x and case zero for sure it is zero so it's going to display this one and not going to display any of the other one play okay the fan is off so if you let's just try put number um, two let's say so the case zero is phones case one is phones case two is true then it's going to display this one okay then break break then finish if you forget the break you're going to keep kind of executing the other parts here now if you execute this one you see the fan is running at speed two okay the fan is running at speed two see so, um, if you, you can try it. If you put, let's say, the value is not 0, not either 0, 1, 2, or 3, something else. Okay, for sure, it's going to run the last one, which is default. Let's say, if you put 20, okay, and execute it, not 0, 1, 2, or 3. So, it's going to execute this one.
Okay, so you won't see the result is invalid input. Um, just to make things interesting, we're going to instead of fix the values uh, like this, we're going to prompt user for please input fan speed like one, two, or three, or or zero to turn it off. Okay or zero to turn it off. Uh, then um, we're going to declare a scanner as an equal to new scanner. This one I will explain. New scanner control speed. Okay, choose it, make sure you choose it so it's going to import from system dot in. Okay. Make sure um, uh, it is imported this one from the Java root package. If it's not imported yet you have to import it. Then you're going to um, x equal to integer dot pass int from the string that string is our um, input which is the scanner dot next line this one I explained before you see so if you execute this one and please input the fan strip if you put one here you say the fan is running speed one then if you put something like if you put three you see the fan is running speed three run again if you put like um, zero you'll see the fan is off run again if you put something like number five enter invalid inputs see so um, that's it for um, selection statements with uh, if else several types of if else and switch case statements uh, remember to have the break statements here again remember to have break statement break statement break statement break statement if you forget the break statement let's just say if you forget the break statement for the case equal to two and if you run this one and you put two okay so beside running beside running this statement because it's true it's going to continue to run this statement as well even though it's not case equal to three okay even though it's not case equal to three it's still running this statement that's why you see both of them here Okay, so be careful. Okay, that's it for a solution statement.